alligator was 12 feet long. Investigators have now told us what condition the body was in and say it will actually be up to the medical examiner to determine if the alligator attacked that victim, perhaps dragged and drowned him, or if something else entirely happened. But the victim was with two friends, and one of them saw the gator very nearby. If you hear a gunshot, that's because they're looking for this alligator, and there's another one. After three gunshots over a couple of hours this afternoon, trappers dragged a 12-foot alligator out of the spring at Blue Spring State Park. They'll examine the animal and, with the medical examiner, determine if it killed Jim O'Curse, who was swimming and snorkeling with friends just after 9 when O'Curse disappeared. This is a gator that's been seen in the area. Uh, what was it? Yesterday, they told me they closed the park down twice. Russ Annan and his wife Carol were with the victim this morning. The buddies are in the spring three times a week for exercise. Russ first spotted the gator and went to warn his wife and friend. I was watching both of them, but then, then while I'm watching, she came down. I warned her. She got on the dock, and Jim was overdue. Carol says the victim is the strongest swimmer of the three, and he was ahead of the couple. Carol was nearing him when she says she turned to look. And he wasn't there anymore. All of a sudden, he just disappeared, completely gone out of the water. Gone. I, I swam around, looked for him, didn't see him. Russ Haddon, who, along with the victim, also dives, went fairly deep but couldn't find his friend. Divers finally recovered the body, and then the hunt was on for the alligator. Whether involved in the death of the victim or not, trappers had to get the alligator out of the swimming area and did so late this afternoon. Now, gators are certainly seen in this area, although it's far more famous for manatees, as you know. But there are alligators if they're in the swimming area. Uh, all swimmers are cleared out, and that is certainly done quite regularly. Now, uh, again, this gentleman swimming with friends, the medical examiner investigating. And we do understand that Jim O'Curse was a caregiver for his 90 year old mother, so this will come as horrific news to her. We're live in Orange City, Volusia County. Claire Metz, WESH 2 News.